wind turbines fire me up. I'm an engineer and wind turbines have hydraulics, they have, they're aerodynamic, they're electrical, they're, to me they're majestic, they're renewable energy. There's nothing in my mind ethically wrong with what I do. I really do believe that this is the right thing to do and it is right for our planet, it's right for our economy, it's right for the state. This project was a win-win-win. It lowers the cost of produ producing energy on Flinders Island, so it's a win for the state government because the state government subsidises the energy use. It's a win because in the last three months we've produced 200 megawatt hours of energy. That's the equivalent of something like 270 barrels of oil, 200 litre drums of oil. And I feel good when I picture the fact that that's 200 and 70 drums of oil that haven't had to be bought into Tasmania. And from where and at what cost, what environmental cost elsewhere? I really have to say it's incredibly rewarding. It's very satisfying and it's uh, after a, a very um, difficult and complex process here on Flinders Island, it's, uh, it's a great relief to see it up and running. You know, I think it's important that we explore all opportunities as I'm a farmer myself and, and uh, things can be very tight and very tough at times and, and this is just another um, opportunity for us to farm um, the, the, the natural resource that blows across our land. Uh, the connection for me came in when I was fortunate enough to be in the Netherlands at a, at a poultry ex exhibition over there. There was a bit of a light bulb moment for me when I saw that there were farmers that had individual turbines in their gateway that were producing electricity for their own enterprise and I just felt then that that seemed like a very sensible way of doing it and a completely different way to what we seem to have been um, fed here in Australia and that well, over here we were seeing the, uh, the, the large wind farm models being um, pushed as the, as the only model and the embedded generation, the single turbines, the owner operated turbines, we seem to have skipped those interesting chapters and gone right to the last chapter in the book. So really the model that, that has appealed to me has been this concept of embedded generation which is small single turbines that are connected into the local distribution network. It's not as controversial as some of the larger wind farm models. Um, it doesn't require transmission networks to be put in place to support them. And it's also very satisfying and pleasing that these projects attract local support and, 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 um, and, and, are, and are very well accepted by everybody around. So it's a very, a very satisfying feeling. We took the risk and it's worked. And that, that's really, uh, that's really rewarding. And it gives, me the, it gives me the confidence then to go and look at other projects. And other projects are coming out of the woodwork. Similar things. And yet, and yet I would have thought that this would only happen once. And yet I can see it happening again.